G'day everyone, my name is Cautious Pancake and today we're going to have a look at Cop Vomit Range and see how far away they'll upchuck at you from and also what we can do to turn it into super powered spew. This comment was the prompt for the video where Anders was asking if 15 blocks is the distance cops will start to spit at you from. To attempt to answer that, I've created this very basic wall measure. So let's summon in a cop and see if we can verify that 15 blocks is the limit. There we go. Oop, that might be a bit too far away. Let's run out here and get his attention and quickly run back. Line up with him, detach the camera and then let's see where he gets to. About 20 blocks. I'm centered around 15, given that that's theory, and that's certainly looking pretty good. But at 15 blocks, that was where he started to spit at me from. Let's bring in another one, a little bit closer this time. See if we can replicate that again. Might summon with the camera detached this time, so we can bring him right on 20 blocks. He should wander forward, and boom. There we go. Pause the AI just so you can see that he did stop right on that 15 block mark. Now, since one test is never enough, I've created this basic path to reconfirm the 15 blocks. I've left a 15 block gap, so the path is actually 16 blocks away from the central point. These yellow markers are the midpoints of each of the four walls, which marks the closest point the zombies will be to me, so those are the most likely points at which they will spit if we've got this wrong. If everything's working correctly though, the 15 block gap should mean that the zombies path all the way around the outside without spitting at us. Time to summon in a cop. Gonna use a feral this time, just because they move a little bit quicker. And for some reason he's not taking the path, which isn't ideal. Let's try again. Put him actually up on the path. There we go. Oop. It's not great, and he's gonna spit at us because he is within the 15 blocks once he's down on the ground. And he's past the first marker, so that's a good sign. Past the second marker. Past the third marker, and after the fourth marker, when he turns left to come towards us and comes within that 15 block range, we should see almost an immediate spit from him. And there we go. So that's looking pretty well confirmed. So that's two tests all working for the 15 block theory. Let's just now run a horde night and see if that checks out and we'll be three from three. I'm using my player at level 113 with a game stage of 271 setup as I know that the first wave of zombies includes both feral and normal cops. Here comes our first cop. Let's keep an eye on what he does. Hopefully, just runs around the outside like the rest. That's not, not what you're supposed to be doing. An immediate spit, nowhere near the midpoint. It's almost as soon as they had visibility, they started spitting and continued. I'm still spitting down the wall. And that's the cooldown based spit. So that's looking busted. So whilst 15 blocks was working fine during Horde Night, that's not so good. What I might do though is run around to one of the corners. Maybe this one that's a little bit more out of the way. No, nope, where they're not coming in so they don't get distracted by seeing me. Let's hide over here and then wait for a cop to come and let's see how far down this wall they are before they spit at us. That should help us understand whether the Horde Night one is just a little bit out or fundamentally different from what it is during the day. Here comes the cop. We'll pause the AI again once he spits. There. So let's just grab a block and count that out. 24. I get 24 if I counted that right. So it looks like that's fairly well different. And let's also just check whether the other cops do the same sort of thing. Ah, oh, he's gone straight down. Be a visibility problem though, so I'm just going to try and clear out all the zombies so that they can see. And then, yeah, 24 looks like the new mark. Okay, so since it looked like 24 blocks is where the cops start to spit on Horde Night, I've gone out into the desert and rebuilt the path. 
this time with a 24 block gap, so the path's on the 25th block. Let's get the zombies back in and see. Hopefully this time, we'll just cruise around. Here comes the zombies. Just going to keep clearing them out until we get a cop. And here we go. Make sure they've got a nice clear path and visibility. If they're the first one through, that'll be ideal. So of course he falls off. Thanks, buddy. Well, just messing with the test. First cop running down and oh spitting at us right on the midway point. And so is he. That's not so good, and so is he. Man, okay, so it looks like we could be well, it's a little bit before the midpoint. Looks like we haven't got that quite right. Okay, so third time is going to be the charm, right? This time I've bumped out the path one more block with a 25 block gap, so the pathing is on the 26th block. Alright, here we go. Cop heading down the wall. Let's get past the midpoint this time. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's what we wanted. No more cops on that wall just yet. Here comes one more. And they both hit the midpoint at the same time. And he's passed. And he's passed. Alright, this is looking better. Whoop. Just had some spit. Where'd that come from? Ha. Ah. He's uh, spawned inside the base. So that one's fine. That doesn't count. He's allowed to run around the bottom and spit at us. All the ones on the wall should be fine. Let's see what happens. When he turns the corner and comes within the 26 or 25 block range, starts to spit. So there we go. Horde Knight, the limit is 25 blocks. I think we'll be good. So for Cop Vomit, it looks like during the daytime it's a 15 block limit, where the cops will spit at you once they are on or within 15 blocks of your position. But during the Horde, that range jumps out to 25. Outside of 25 blocks, then the cops won't spit at you. Now since I'm having a look at the green puke projectiles, I'm thinking we should also have a bit of a play with the config, as there's obviously options that have been built into the game. As you can see, normal cops fire a single projectile, ferals do three at once, and rads do five. So let's see if there are more settings that we can have a play with. First up, here in the entity classes XML, there's a cooldown value that we can change from four to zero. This should, I think, make the cop vomit more frequently. And if we spawn in a cop after making this change, you can see that's exactly what happens. After each animation is complete, he immediately resets and goes again. Over and over, unless we get too close and he switches to melee. That's pretty cool, but I wonder if we can make him fire faster, more like a machine gun. To do that, I'm going to try changing the duration to zero. Hopefully that should drop the speed of the animation to nothing, and, combined with the cooldown change, he should just constantly fire up chuck orbs in our direction. <laughs> no, no, it uh, looks like we've just turned him into a chicken! That's certainly not what I was expecting. So we'll change that back, and then, in an effort to still get a more machine gun-like effect, let's try moving to the items.xml file. Here's where the ammo settings and vomit attack are defined, so we might have a bit more luck. I'll start by tweaking the magazine size from 1 to 100. Hopefully that means he vomits 100 times for each animation. Here we go. Let's see what happens. And... Oh, that's better. Better, but still... Only about seven. Well, that one was bigger. Seven. So mostly about seven, but with a bit of variation sometimes. So for our next attempt, let's try changing the delay from 0.3 to 0.1 and upping the magazine size again from 100 to 1000. Let's see how it looks now. Whoa. 
that's a better stream. Certainly not a thousand rounds though. But it is a nice kind of solid machine gun like effect. You can see it smashing through the concrete wall there. Yeah, so two spits will destroy a concrete block. That's kind of lethal. Sounds much more machine gun like too. So let's just pause for a minute and this time try going the other way. Let's look at this velocity setting and see what it does. I'm assuming it's the projectile speed, so let's crank it down to one and see what impact that has. Here it comes and <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It's almost like a vomit cloud. An incredibly slow moving vomit cloud. Oh, and look at what it does to the asphalt. Sticking holes. So obviously pretty easy to dodge in the street, but imagine that on a Horde Knight. The damage it would do to your path box on your base, it could ruin your Horde Knight with a single vomit. So that was fun, but let's maybe go the other way again. Up the velocity to 20, it was 18 to start with, and this time it will also double the fly time of the lifetime to see what difference that makes. Ouch, that's certainly harder to dodge. And they go on flying. Certainly no stopping them. It's hard to tell in here whether that's going any further than it used to. It's maybe... <laughs> oh, there we go. Shooting at where I jumped. And man, those things are not stopping. Look how far they're going. Oh, they just, just disappear before they hit the ground. Oh no, maybe one didn't. So sometimes they make it, but sometimes they don't. Still, that was pretty cool. Okay, so last test. Let's go back to the Entity Classes file, and this time change the duration from the default of 5 up to 15. And we'll also change the spread vertical and horizontal. We'll change these to the settings that the Feral Cop has, as the devs obviously felt that when firing three projectiles at once for Ferals, it needed a bit more spread, which I agree with, and I think it's also needed with the machine gun cop spew that I'm looking for, so that they all don't just pile onto a single spot. Here we go. Oh, it's quick. And it, oh, it's not stopping. I have to go in God mode to get me out of that one. There we go, look at that. The duration is what we needed. It's a 15 second burst. Firing a vomit every 0.1 of a second. So that should, it's still not anywhere near the thousand that I set the magazine size to. It's only around probably 150, but 150 vomit projectiles hitting your base or hitting you if you're in an enclosed space is going to end poorly. So I think that's a pretty good super spew. It's going to make a mess. I love it. Let's see what happens when you're up in the air. It's like a fireworks display. Imagine playing multiplayer and just being off in the distance and have this rain down on you from somebody else. Oh, and one thing I just thought of that I should check quickly, back on the 15 block range during the day, and that's that the feral and radiated cops have the same 15 block limit as normal cops, just in case they have different config. You went a bit past, but around about the same mark. Let's just try a rad. Yeah, same again. It's about 15. They just go a bit further past because they're moving faster. Double check. Yeah, I still think 15 is the limit. They're just moving a bit quicker. And 
not reacting as quick. Or I'm spawning them too close, perhaps. A bit further away. And there we go. Spawning them too close. Okay, it's time for a final showdown. Let's try 14 Super Spew Cops versus me and an M60. I'm thinking <laughs> movement is going to be pretty key. I'm going to need to get out of the way and I'm probably just going to hide like a chicken. Let's turn them on. Here we go. Get some shots in before they wake up. Go, go, go. They're spitting. Ah! The wall of green. Don't stop. Out, out. Oh. Oh, they slowed me down. Stunned me. That's not good. Need some first aid. We need some pills. Need a bandage. Man. That wrecks you. There we go. Using the wall to our advantage. I think that's going to be completely necessary. There we go. So as long as you can line aside them, you'll be okay. But if they catch you, that super spew is brutal. Well, there you have it. We've confirmed 15 blocks during the day and 25 blocks during horde is the limit for cop chunder. We've also developed a super spew setting for cops. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If so, please give a heave on the like button. And if you'd like to see more seven days videos, please subscribe and come back for the next one. As always, thanks for watching and happy hurling. Oh, and two things to note with Super Spew. One, it hurts. And two, it also melts frame rates. Just have a listen here as the vomit slows down while my computer struggles.